Configuring your pre-approval letter can be easy, but it can also be frustrating. So before we get started on showing you how to do it, we highly recommend that you send us a copy of the letter to letters at preapprovemeapp.com. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, that's great. Go ahead and go to your pre-approval letter setting, click Edit Letter Template, and here you'll see that there is essentially like a Word document editor. All of these blue fields represent dynamic text that you can pull from this dynamic text box right here. So to add dynamic text, just click the link. You can see these are all drop downs. You can place these text fields anywhere in the body of the email that you want. To replace your company logo, it's as easy as deleting the one that's in there. Um, likely if you've already uploaded your logo to your company or personal settings, it will appear here as a default. You can do other things with the pre-approval letter editor as well, like inc including adding tables. So commonly we'll see if you've got a lot of data points here and it's not fitting the letter template the way you want or your current letter has some sort of table, you can go ahead and insert that table which will allow you to create text in a more organized fashion. One of the most important things you need to know about the letter is that we support both pre-approval and pre-qualification. As you can see right here you're indicating whether the letter you're working on is a pre-approval or a pre-qualification letter. Okay, This does not change the template you're working on right here. So if I click this, it doesn't create a new template. That is done right here with this drop down. As you can see, I've got several letters, each with different language, each indicated as a separate letter type. Most commonly, we see companies with one pre approval letter, one pre qualification letter, and then from inside the loan, you're indicating whether or not this customer is pre approved or pre qualified. If all of your letters are going to be one or the other, that's fine. As you can see, we've got several letters here built to support niche sort of situations like FHA condos, um, customers that maybe have homes to sell before they can buy a new one. And all you need to do is from inside the loan, select the letter template that you want this customer to have access to. So you can get as granular as you want with the details. It's important though that you realize that as a default, you have one default pre-approval and one default pre-qualification letter. Those defaults will be the first two of each kind. So the first letter, if it's pre-approval, that's fine. The second letter might also be a pre-approval. The third letter might be a pre-qualification. If you indicate that it's a pre-qual, we will look at the third letter in your list because that's the first one indicated as a pre-qual. And again, if you guys want us to help you, please send us copies of your letter. Go ahead and email them to letters at preapprovingapp.com and we could build these templates out for you so you don't have to worry about it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and we hope this brief overview of our pre-approval letter editor was helpful.